you guys have gotten into any of the research on HIP? Uh, the Hooksma trial is one of the big seminal trials on HIP osteoarthritis um, and looking at uh, manipulation of the HIP along with manual therapy and exercise to show some significant improvements in, in HIP outcomes and function with this. So, you know, theirs is, you know, with the HIP, and a lot of us have learned it in PT school, the long leg traction that you can take and give people a nudge and jolt. Um, now, osteopathic stuff, they'll talk about upslips, so somebody steps off a curb, jolts their pelvis into, you know, to where it's, the, it's in a relative upslip position relative to the sacrum. Um, another technique to, that it's hard to say we're, bi we're biasing is to just the uh, um, you know, SI joint. It's going to do a lot of different things. But, you know, uh, if you're looking to do the... So an upslip, tell me an upslip. Upslip would be if I took this side, so if he steps and he uh, plants into a hole and it drives that uh, ilium superior on the sacrum. So the sacrum staying here, it drove his ilium. So if we see that clinically, you know, you're going to see ASIS, uh, iliac crest, PSIS, PSIS, all raised up higher. So we do document that, though. We do uh, document that. Would sure. I document it? Uh, you yeah, can, I, you I, document I, you have an upslip. So yeah, I just don't get into the sacral 15 different positions. I will, I think there's validity to an upslip per, clinically. I just don't get into the positional, because I think it's it's hard for a PT, uh, you know, you get five of us, two of us, and you're not going to see a lot of reliability. Right. Um, and that, so you can be and that's the whole downside of the motion analysis of the pelvis has been no one has ever demonstrated reliability. They've done studies with osteopaths who are experts in what they do and really buy into the theory of it. They can't agree like which side is stuck, which side's up and down, and you know, that kind of thing. I think it's okay to document what you think it is and why you did that. You're just documenting your rationale. Well, you're, you're thinking, thinking yeah, yeah, you're the thinking. objective yeah. improvement yeah, no, that's okay. for the assessment. You know, a high school kid who, who's reading your thing in the insurance company, I don't care. Yeah, yeah and that's what a lot of these auditors are doing. But again, I think you can document that positionally look better. But again, I think that's great. But does it functionally change anything in the patient? Right. Right. Um, that would be the bigger thing. Or does it clear any other asterisk signs would be the bigger thing. But if, I, and I'm, I'm not trying to say that there's no value. If it's if you find value and it makes change for patients, keep it up. Yeah. Um, so upslip. So we said all those vine marks on the pelvis would be higher. And again, I do. If I have a mechanism of injury and all that stuff, I will palpate pelvic landmarks. It's not that I we throw those away. It's just um, I don't find if it's not if it's not obvious, I don't tend to go through it. But again, and others may have different ways of doing it. And that's fine. But it's again, ups. Find an upslip without a rotation of some component, though. I mean, you could probably say uh, that there might be, a, you know, the morphology of the pelvis. I think it tends to go. Over, and now, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't got into my posteriorly if it upslips. Any osteopathic? Uh, yeah, I think that's been the I think if I remember right, that it tends to drive posterior. Yeah. Um, I don't get too into that. I'll say, okay. If I think upslip's the primary thing, I'm going to go after it, and then. Basically what we're doing is I tend to support the patient's leg here so I have something to keep this other side of the pelvis where it needs to. And then we'll kind of just give them a little traction. And I might just start it with a little, you know, traction and kind of get after it. And I, I'm feeling that right there in my back. Yeah. Now, let's go out here and show one the other. Now, if you're out here, that's right in my hip. That's right here. So what's happening with abducting and internally rotating my leg? So I'm taking that hip and basically getting it close back. So I'm taking that hip motion out of the equation. Are we going to still get some hip effects? Yes, but I'm trying to lock the hip up so I'm getting the pelvis to start So when he does it here, I feel it's all lumbosacral. It's right in the PSIS area. When I do it here, no, you, and you'll feel it on people. You'll feel and like it's a... It's not in my back at all there. Yeah, and you can so a lot of times. If you want to manip the hip, you go out there. If you want to go into the lumbosacral area, you go inside. Mm -hmm. And there's arguments here too. If you say, now, how do we say that when we manipulate a hip? You know, if I take yeah. Rit to the point here and give him a good jolt to manipulate his hip, am I going to affect his back too? Yes. But again, I will have some signs that I'm going to go into and say, hey, I made differences with his hip rotor range of motion. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe I want to do a traction. I say, okay, I want to get effects into his lumbosacral spine. And I'm not even worried about it being an upslip or not. I'm just going to see if I can change some things in his lumbar spine. I do this and so I stand did, him up. When he did that manip out there, I did feel it up in my lumbosacral. Yeah. 
of his mind, but it's much more focused when he adjuncts and internally rotates that leg. So, just a leg. so does he get the, the internally rotate and kind of adduct a little bit, and you're trying to yeah, get a little more extension as well, then? Uh, for can we close back position for lumbar spine? Oh, for lumbar, for like close back of the hip. Not necessarily. Yeah. I'm just trying to take. I mean, that would be internal rotation extension. Yeah, but he's using uh, the myofascial, the IT band, and the uh, gluteus to mm -hmm. take up that slack and kind of close the hip down. So it's going, it's going up into the pelvis. Why? Because he's taking up the slack with the soft tissue now that that's pulling from the anomalies. And so I feel it right there. But again, you know, the, the upslip to me, I mean, it's got to be something that has a significant difference. I'm with